guys, what's up? It's Cam Ray and you're watching Cam Ray Music TV. This is my one month update on my breast reduction. Now, I know we're a couple weeks behind, but I went on vacation. Actually, I went home to California, which was also a vacation because I took hubby there and he got to meet everybody. But I'm back and I got to update you guys on the process. I also saw some comments on the last video that I need to get to. So let's stop wasting all this time and let's get into this video. So for my one month follow up, I went to see my surgeon and she wanted to look at the incisions, make sure everything's going good, healed over, all of that. All right, so she explained to me how to massage each breast to make sure the scar tissue heals and so that it doesn't get stuck in one spot and that it doesn't harden up and be tender and all that. So um, I'm not gonna lie, I was really like, I really thought it was optional. Like, okay, she said one a few times a day, so I figured like, oh, okay, once a day, you know, I'll just get my little rub on, I'll be good. So, um, you know, when you go on vacation, you're kind of just going, 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 going. You're not really laying around because like I said, I went home, not really just vacation. So I went to that appointment. I was um, given the go ahead to go ahead and get size. So I did go down to a C cup from a double D to a C cup. So funny story, I went to Victoria's Secret. I was like, hey, I just got a breast reduction. I'm ready to get measured. Let's go, let's get it. So the girl measures me and she's like, oh, you're a D or double D. I said, you need to retrain because clearly you're wrong. Now I didn't tell the girl that, but it just made me think about all those times when I was going to Victoria's Secret and people used to tell me they don't know how to measure right. They really don't know how to measure right. Now, I'm not speaking for every Victoria's Secret in the world, but most of them do a little quick little one, two. Dillard's is a very thorough measuring. So what I ended up doing was just asking her for the C-cup bra and putting it on myself to see if I had any spillage on the sides, if it came together nicely. And it did. So I am a C-cup just like the doctor said. So anyway, so um, I bought me a couple bras. Luckily the semi-annual sale was going on right on time. Thank you, Jesus. And so, um, the next day I got on the plane to go. So there had been like a day or two where I hadn't done any massaging and I it was hurting so bad. Like it almost felt like it was puffed up, like it was swelling just cause my bra was on them so tight. So I had to like get my massage on and then I was putting um, Ambi, it's like a fade cream and I was putting that and I was putting lotion and stuff. Not all at once, but over <laughs> the course of like a week. And so, um, yeah, the swelling went down right away, but I quickly realized how important it was to do that, That's exactly what the doctor had said. So I do the massages like three or four times a day, and I just rub, you know, right where the scars are, and you know, they're a little tender, but they're getting better. The scars are going away, and um, yeah, so I can wear the bras, my back doesn't hurt as much. Um, Oh, the areola area is still very tender. I don't know when that's gonna go away, but it's still driving me insane. I mean, like I said, when I was describing the itching to y'all, this is worse because it hurts. So um, if you're thinking about getting getting one, um, they keep telling me to take ibuprofen, but you know, the military just runs on ibuprofen. It's like we, all of that's in our system is ibuprofen and water. Like, so I hate taking ibuprofen for everything because it's also like horrible for the lining of your stomach or something crazy like that. So I don't take it as much as I should. So maybe that's why I'm always in constant pain. Like my uniform can just graze me and I can, like I can feel it. Like I said, if you guys are thinking about getting a breast reduction, don't be afraid. Uh, think of it as something that you're doing for you. You know, uh, a lot of people look at surgeries and they just think that they're so scary. But, you know, if you stay prayed up and you get prepared and you make sure that you're healthy, you know, before you get these surgeries and you make sure that you're going to the professional and that it's recommended for you to get it. Don't just get stuff done because, you know, you're that vain and you just... You don't want to look like something anymore like let it be something that's uh, a hit like something that's a struggle you know I had back pain and neck pain and you know every day it was just horrible and I had indentions and it was starting to form rashes so it's like I got the surgery to better my life and now you know you have to re 
refine yourself basically because I'm still having those habits where I'm used to like holding and there's nothing there to hold and you know different shirts fit differently um so yeah, it was a great experience and you should do it too. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Um, I didn't get microderm or, so there's some kind of cream uh, people were talking about that they use. Um, I didn't get any of that. My doctor also told me that Neosporin will slow down the healing process. I don't know that to be true, but I kind of I kind of use Neosporin, Ambi, and lotion when I'm just, you know, doing my little massages but if you have any advice on the scar tissue or uh, massaging or lotions to use make sure to leave that down below if you have any questions leave it down below again I'm not a professional so if you got the surgery and you have like a rash or something going on go to your doctor go to the emergency room do not hit me up asking me hey what do I do now that I'm breaking out just like you oh that was another thing I found out that I think I was breaking out from the um, anesthesia but I don't really know how but yeah I, I used the soap and then I was just breaking out but it went away over time but I don't know that was that was weird, something that I never really figured out. But anyway, I'm Kim Ryan. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I see that these are actually really popular. I know that we all use YouTube as a resource to learn different things. You know, when I wanted to bleach this hair, I use YouTube. When I wanted to learn how to install a lace front, I use YouTube. And when I want to do different workouts, I use YouTube. So YouTube is like the brand new university, okay? so. Don't be afraid to leave your questions down below because I know I surely wouldn't be to leave them under your video. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Camera Ray. Bye.